Hello, everyone. I'm so very sorry that I can't actually be with you in the room today on this very special evening. I always wanted to be a movie star, and so thank you for putting me on the big screen tonight. Unfortunately, my granddaughter is having an event tonight at this very same hour, and she wants and expects me to be at her graduation. I know all of you can appreciate the importance of the family connection, and so I'm sure you understand. The Gold Foundation has been an important part of my life for more than 20 years, thanks to my extraordinary friends, Sandra and Arnold Gold. They knew that people who are ill need more than a pill. They need a lot of TLC to go with it. Because of our friendship, I learned about the foundation and I got hooked. I realized how important the philosophy of humanism is, especially in healthcare. And so I took up the cause. While doctors are wonderful, it's the nurse who really takes care of the patient hour by hour, day by day. This came to life for me when my husband, Mike, became so ill that I could not take care of him by myself. Not knowing where to go, I got a recommendation from a friend and certainly lucked out. Val became Mike's aide. He and Mike bonded quickly and he took special TLC care of Mike until he passed. It was a difficult time. I don't know what I would have done without Val. I realized that more young men should go into nursing. It's a wonderful profession. When the Gold Foundation decided to expand their white coat ceremony to include nurses, I thought it was wonderful. I was very happy to be able to assist in bringing it to reality. Because of my husband, Mike, I have another important tie into humanism in health care. After a left brain stroke, he became aphasic. Aphasia is the inability to speak. It was frustrating and he became angry. They know what they want to say, and they can't say it. There is nothing wrong with their intellect. It's just the inability to speak. And so we hired a researcher to learn what was being done in the world of aphasia. We met a wonderful woman, Audrey Holland, who became our mentor. When Mike began to speak again, he said to me, we've got to help those not as fortunate as we, and so began the Adler Aphasia Center. The first one was in Maywood. It has become Mike's legacy. Today, we've grown the number of centers from three going into the fourth any day now, and I expect to open one in Florida in the near future, which will make it number five. There's more than just hope. We have success. People can make themselves understood, not always by speech, but by body language, by intonation. So now they are no longer alone in this terrible plight. The human connection is so important. This is where the Gold Foundation comes into my story. It emphasizes compassion and therefore reduces the stress of the situation. I'm grateful to those of you who are honoring me tonight. I miss not being with my honorees, Dr. George Tebow, with whom I sit on the Gold Foundation board, and Anna Quinlan, who doesn't know it, but through the years I have followed her. 
and I was so thrilled to think that I was going to be at the same table as she. Well, maybe one day she and I will go to dinner. I hope so, because I really do admire her. But it's really the Gold Foundation and their work that should get all of the accolades tonight. Their work of infusing humanism into health care makes the real difference. Thank you again, and I'm so pleased that you have honored me this evening. Let us help ensure that the Gold Foundation continues its important work for at least another 30 years, and then plus, plus, plus. Thank you again. Good evening.